can you start out by telling us what stood out to you about the business of Chase and what made you decide to work with us in the first place? Well, um, I heard about the company through my sister-in-law. She's the one that recommended them. And then when I had my first meeting with him, I really liked Gavin. He was a really good lawyer, very compassionate about his job. But it wasn't just that. It was um, like he was being pretty well with me, too, because there's a lot of things I didn't know about the case. A lot. I didn't know a lot of details. And I didn't want to know because it was about my husband. Cool. So I, I knew the story, but I didn't want to know the details. And he was really good at safeguarding me and let me know only what I needed to know and not go into do too much detail. That's what I loved about him is he really watched out for me and my interest in what I was going through at that time, too. That's what I liked about him a lot. But uh, my sister-in-law recommended the company and I loved it. Yeah. Obviously, that's something that Gavin could do for you outside the courtroom. How was he inside the courtroom? Inside of the courtroom, it was it was hard. I mean, any trial is hard to go through. It was really hard. But he always was really good with us and explained things as it went through the trial because we weren't sure what happens through the whole trial and how that whole thing works. And he took his time out to explain it to us and let us know what was going on every day because there's a lot of stuff that we don't know as far as the verdict and how the jury works and a lot of the stuff, what goes on step by step. And he just explained everything so well to us. So I like that. Great. And are there any other parts of the Business Chase team that really stood out to you through this process? Oh gosh, just the way they handled their clients. They're, everybody on that team, Francesca, everybody I worked with was so good and so professional and helped us out right away. We got our questions answered so well within 24 hours, if not within that same day. I mean, they get right back to you. So prompt with it. Um, so if there's anything we had questions on, they, they were right there, always through every single step of the way. Right. Um, obviously we know how much time and work goes into a case like this. How, how difficult was it uh, for you and your family to deal with it through, through that whole process? It was, it was hard. It was. There was a lot of stuff that we had to kind of go back to, you know, and remember. And um, that was, you know, digging some of that up, that was kind of hard. But, you know, we, d we did all the process that we had to. It's always hard to go back to that. Um, and now we can go back to it and smile now. But before it was just hard bringing all that back up and, and remembering that day. But um, it was hard, but we got through it. We, we got through it. <laughs> we had us three girls, so that's what helped. There was three of us girls, so that helped out a lot. Always helps to have that support. Yes. And how did Business Chase help relieve some of that pressure while all, all of this was going on? They were doing a lot of the work that we didn't have to like dig up. Like all I had to do was give them phone numbers and contacts and I didn't have to look at a lot of stuff it just bypassed me and they did all the hard work so that's what I liked is I didn't have to look at everything they did that for me um, and that's what I liked because there's a lot of stuff I don't want to look at with this with my case so um, do you mind me asking how much money you were originally offered in the uh, in the settlement um I know one of them's gave us an offer of like a hundred thousand. And then when we're at the mediation and then when we're, he was in there, um, there was another offer and it was just so low. He, uh, Gavin said it wasn't even, he didn't even want to tell us cause it was just disgusting of how low it was. What so was the reaction when you heard those initial offers. I was shocked really. I was really shocked that they would offer such a low amount because when he told me it was very low, I was really shocked because I knew how negligent they were. And I just thought, how could they lowball something like that? I didn't understand it. And I thought, you know, I, I didn't understand why they lowballed it so low um, because we weren't asking a lot in the beginning. We just weren't. We weren't asking for a lot. It was mainly going for justice for my husband. So the amount that we were trying, that he was negotiating for us was not like an, an extreme amount at all, but they wouldn't even meet us halfway. And so that's when he, we left, you know. And how do you feel about the $11 million verdict that Business Chase were able to secure for you? And do you feel justice has been done now? 
Yes, I do feel that justice has been done. And it makes me feel good to know that my girls will, will be okay, which I knew they would before. But it also, it just, it just makes me feel good that it's done. That's the main thing is it's done. And now me and my girls, everything we can remember now is going to be good stuff. Everything will be, we look back at him and some of the stuff my husband did and we can laugh now. We don't have to go back to that Pacific day that we lost him. Now we can look back at all the good stuff. And me and my daughters, as soon as the case was over and Gavin told us we won, we were all just so happy because we don't ever have to remember that day again, ever. And so now we just like that same night after we even knew we're all talking about them and laughing and giggling. And it wasn't just me and my daughters. It was my sister-in-laws. My sister-in-laws were with me when he passed and my sister-in-laws were with me when this was over. So we're all just so happy and relieved and we're hugging each other and we're like, we don't ever have to go back to that. Now we just, we just started talking about him in the room and everything he did. And we all were by the, within five minutes, we're all giggling and laughing about the things that he did. And it just made us feel so good. And the 11 million, I guess that's just, you know, topping it all off, <laughs> topping it all off. Fantastic. It sounds like a, a weight has been lifted off you at least. Oh yes, very much so. Very much so with the, all of us girls. Yes. Great. And uh, would you recommend Business Trace to other people who have suffered injuries or lost loved ones like you have? Oh, definitely. Definitely. I'm going to tell everybody about Biznar Chase. Definitely. Anybody that I know of that's going to be in California, anything that happens, definitely. That's my first go-to. And it's going to be Gavin. I'll just tell everybody, you got to, you got to meet with Gavin Long. He's the guy. <laughs> he's, he's the attorney. He is God sent. I swear to God, Gavin was God sent for me. Is there anything else that you would like to add to? Um, well, I'd like to add my appreciation for everybody there that did work so hard on this case. And I know it was a very long, hard case for them to work on. And I know they put a lot of hours and time and effort in this. And it, I'm just so glad that I had that great team there. And you guys are the best. Biznar Chase is the best law firm, I swear to God. And it's not just Gavin. It's the whole team, everybody. And I, I appreciate it and love you guys all for doing all that work. Great, well, we'd love to hear that and uh, we're, we're glad we're able to help.